Yes, hello everyone. My name is Omar Abdel Majid. I'm a senior sonographer. Today we will discuss um, the subhepatic appendix ultrasound. Actually, we are doing ultrasound in the department for pediatric patients only. This is because we don't want them to be exposed to CV scan radiation. So, any patients that are below 18 or 20 years old, we will just go directly for ultrasound. If it is positive, then they will take them to um, the operation room or they will just follow them conservatively. So the issue is um, for pediatric, we are doing ultrasound for the appendix and for adult patients, they go directly for CT scan. When we do a scan, when I do a scan for ultrasound, I usually prefer to uh, scan starting from the right lower quadrant to come on site for the appendix then on transverse plan usually um, you trace through the uh, common iliac vessels and in this case you can find uh, mostly the appendix in the position that we call it the splenic position which is a uh, uh, two o'clock position of the appendix which is in this case it could be pre-ilial or post-ilial or retroilial position of the appendix. You could find also on your way what we call it the pelvic position of the appendix or the mid inguinal position of the appendix. In the right lower quadrant, we have commonly we have the six positions of the appendix that could be 11 o'clock appendix. 11 o'clock appendix is uh, something that we call it also para-iliac parapolic appendix which is also a kind of retrocecal it could be 12 o'clock appendix which is the typical retrocecal appendix that we usually call it cannot be seen easily and we have the 2 o'clock appendix which is as we said uh, also called splenic appendix which is the pre or post ilial appendix we can also um, find um, uh, what we call it the promotric then um the pelvic which is four o'clock position and the mid inguinal which is the uh, six o'clock position appendix after starting in transverse with the iliac uh, through the iliac uh, vessels then usually I extend the exam to through the ascending colon of the patient up to the subhepatic region it's a rare kind of a scan but we should do that and for every a appendix patient for the males i usually include the right kidney so that we can uh, exclude any other cause of the right of what has been like ureteric stone so we are set the right kidney for the hydrant process and for the ladies we are checking the right ovary also for any ovarian uh, pathology so in this patient um when extending the scan up to the right kidney and also there was also as a kind of the protocol we should also set the subhepatic space um the appendix has just power between the right kidney and the liver it's very rare to see this kind of appendix which is what we call subhepatic appendix but it happened it was identified in this pediatric 11 years old patient who came with abdominal pain and uh, um, it was measuring seven millimeter in this case so it's almost a little bit more above the um, borderline which is 6 mm and there was an intraluminal appendix also that's seen which is like almost 4 mm in this case so this patient because of the pain was um, there was no guarding that much the pain was a little bit big and uh, it was managed conservatively this case for two days then it was easily discharged with a uh, follow-up if there is frequency of the same pain again and uh, thank you for your attention and inshallah we will follow up in, in more more cases and we will discuss more cases once comes in the future and always be tuned with the sudanese sonographer society